Hello guys, it's Jamie Peacock here, and welcome back to Pokemon Silver version. Alright, we're gonna have to conquer this fucking tower again. Oh, fuck you, dude. Sage Chow? Could you get a little more racist, please? Well, time to one-hit all his Pokemon. Alright, well, I just finished one-hitting all of this racist stereotypes Pokemon, so, you know, we're rolling. You're welcome. I guess, for stomping you into dirt, nerd. Sway like it leaves in the wind. So, not very much, I guess? What are you trying to say here? Alright, Edmund. Okay, I'll talk to you guys again after I one-hit all of his Pokemon. These Pokemon are not built very well. I don't think they'd be able to keep themselves up. Let alone, even if they were plants, they would not work. Like, that would not function correctly. Yeah, hell yeah, you're weak. <laughs> what the fuck is this, dude? It looks very distinguished. Fuck, dude, this is back in Nintendo era where you can't walk past something if it, like, stretches upward because it has to take up the area behind it. <laughs> I trained to find enlightenment in Pokemon. Alright, so we're fighting the Buddha now. I feel reassured that I just beat half of Gin and Tonic. Sage Neil. I love how they go from racist Asian stereotypes to just English names. Oh yeah, fucking Neil over here. Hello, brother Jin. Hello, brother Chow. Hello, brother Neil. <laughs> it is my head that is bright. Yes, you are resoundingly bald. And then Troy. Chow, Jin, and Troy. And, and Neil. Like, you can tell two of these things are not, like, half of these things are not like the other half. This guy really is a douche. God damn you, little dick. I'm gonna go grab this in the corner. Sage Lee. Okay, another Asian sounding name. Alright, we're rolling here. BRB after I one hit all those Pokemon. Hell yeah, I'm excellent. Like my soul. Hell yeah, I already have it, so screw off, nerd. Bald ass head. I'll see you guys after I figure out what to do next. Oh, I don't think I'm pretty tough. Have you seen me destroy the last gym leader? Man, I didn't even have to hit the Pokemon Center after I was done destroying an entire tower of monks. Who would have thought maybe his team made completely of rodents was not up to the task? Hell yeah, I'm strong. Have you seen me flex? Ooh. Ugh. You can't see it because of the graphics suck, but my character is flexing right now. The hell's over here? Oh, okay. Why are you staring at the wall? Wow, she's one of those rude-ass people. I'm going to slaughter you. And slaughter you I did. How was that mean? You're the one who was trying to battle while talking on the phone. You have only yourself to blame. What's up, dude? I didn't make you lose the fish. You lost the fish because you responded to me. Wow, your level 15 Magikarp is so impressive. It ner- It ner- It ner- It knows tackle, and yet you chose to use Splash. You have no one to blame for this but yourself, dude. You completely deserve to be beaten there. Sploosh! Oh no! That's the same thing I scream when I lose. Sploosh! Sploosh! Hopefully none of these Pokemon no bubble. God damn it. Splash! Sploosh! I seriously doubt that. I mean, the fact that your only Pokemon is a level 10 Goldeen would basically prove the point that you are a good trainer and a good wrangler wrong because this is your only Pokemon. It's a little pathetic, man. I'm sorry. And you weren't a good trainer. God damn it. I seriously doubt they'll do anything for you. I could have sworn he said I found some good Pokemon, not a good Pokemon. 
Oh shit, a tasty slowpoke tail for just one million dollars? No, fuck off, asshole. Some douche just like pulls the tail off a Pokemon and just walks next to the area and is like, Hey, anyone want to buy this tail? Yum yum, only a million dollars. Do you really, do you really know what your weaknesses are considering you just lost horrendously? <sighs> Cave. Alright, fuck that shit. I'll start the next episode, you know, after this cave, because fuck that shit. I'll talk to you guys some other time. Goodbye.